In this video, we're going to go through the content section of the WebChat widget. This allows you to customize the main topics of your WebChat widget, like the chat bubble, the header, and so on. If we go inside the chat bubble options, you will be able to select a bubble style. You can choose an icon only, and you will see it reflecting directly in the bottom right corner. Or you can also go with an icon plus text. And basically, this can be a call to action to press the chat bubble to connect towards your chatbot. And you can just fill in anything towards your own liking. And if you confirm it, you will see it reflecting directly inside. So as you can see, just changing the bubble text will automatically be previewed in the bottom right corner. You can just change the icons as well towards your own liking within the uh, shown options. So if you want to go with a smiley face instead, you are able to do so. If you want to save your changes and to go live directly on your website, you just press the apply button. You will also be able to adjust your chat header. And if we take a look, you will be able to upload your own header logo. This could be a logo of your business to really custom brand the web chat widget. And you can also adjust the header name. This will be previewed if we just press the button, you will see the preview directly inside of this overview. As you can see, the header logo will go directly in the top left corner of your widget and the name will go to the right of that logo. You can adjust this towards your own liking and then press the button apply to let the changes take effect. If we go back, you will also have a conversation button. And with this conversation button, we can set up three different kinds. We have a start conversation button for new users. So if we press the let's chat, you will have this start conversation button, which you can fully customize towards your own liking. If a user basically exits your website and then returns at a later date, they will also have the continue conversation button. And if they want to start a new conversation instead, they will be able to do so as well. Just rename this towards your own preferences and then press the button apply to let the changes take effect again. If we go back, we will also be able to set up a welcome message. And the welcome message basically, as you can see here, will be something similar like on the right hand preview. So we could also say something like this, nice to meet you as a welcome heading. And then we could have a welcome tagline that states a call to action. Press the button below to grab your free template, right? So this is something that you can customize towards your own liking. If you have a web chat widget on your customer support, then you can automatically adjust this tagline towards your own preferences as well. If we go back, then you will also be able to set an out of office message. You can set up your message here. Uh, but basically, since this is a chatbot widget, then you will be able to set up your reply time as well. You can choose between few minutes, few hours in a day, or even do a custom thing like I did right here and say replies instant. Or you could also say replies instantly and you'll see it reflecting on the bottom right corner just above the conversation button. If we go back, then we will also be able to set up pre-chat forms and we will cover this section inside of the next video to allow you to set up forms that users can fill in before reaching your chatbot. And this way you can save essential data before even having a chat conversation with this user. So let's hop on towards the next video.